are humans, the most fascinating creatures in the universe. Today we will focus on a specific human being, the one they call Kevin. It is a normal Saturday morning for him. Oh my, there's his alarm. Let's see what happens. Fascinating. It's not that I'm lazy, it's just that I'd rather not do work. Well, it looks like he's finally deciding to awaken. Let's see what his first step is on his morning routine. Oh. The computer is an important part of my life. It's a lot of ways how I socialize. It's how I get my projects done, and you know, a lot of times how I get my homework done. Very, very many uses. You know, breakfast. Most important meal of the day. Uh, always like to eat healthy, you know? The healthier you, know, you eat in the morning, the better. The better you'll feel throughout the day. I always like to think that a healthy man is a happy man. You know, cleaner kidney is a happy kidney, you know? The next step of Kevin's day is to clean himself up. After that, he is off on his way. But we couldn't help but wonder what makes Kevin who he is. Well, I'd have to say the biggest influence in my life is my dad, you know? Don't get me wrong, the rest of my family is amazing and I'll fluff him to death, but me and my dad, we sort of connect, you know? You know, he's, he's the guy who made me the person I am today. He's an all-around great person. He's fun to be around. He's, he's got great morals. I mean, and I am now a huge aspect of my life is movies, making them and watching them. I have to say, the best movie of all time, in my opinion, is the Bratz movie. What? Okay, in all truth, I'd have to say my favorite movie of all time is The Dark Knight. Why? Because it's dark, and it's got the right amount of humor in the appropriate places, and it's, you know, it's, it's got the action in it, you know, it's got the... And then, you know, now, don't think of me as a Star Wars geek or anything like that because I'm not. Now, I respect George Lucas's creative ability, which, if you listen to me, is because the first screenplay that I ever wrote was a little thing I like to call Sock Wars. And it was a Star Wars parody with sock puppets. Now, I spent three years perfecting that script, and I think it looks pretty good. But due to financial and technical setbacks, it kind of hasn't been produced yet. That three years helped me realize, you know, that movie making takes a long time. It is a hard and difficult process. But also, the Star Wars and all that in general will give me a reason, give me a little bit of inspiration and to look back and keep me do what I want to do from now on. It'll keep me moving on. Keep on trucking. Still recording?